Welcome to History Makers Church. We hope you have a great time with us this morning. There's a lot happening, so let's check it out. Hi, good morning everyone, and here we are for Rise and Build Stage 3. So in the last two weeks, I've talked to you about firstly the vision for Ride and Rise and Build, and last week I spoke about the actual building we're going to build, and this week I'd like to talk a little bit about what tax deductibility means. Now that's a great topic for church, isn't it? Tax deductibility, but it really does mean a lot for you as we come and prepare to give towards Rise and Build on October the 10th. Now if you haven't received a Rise and Build brochure, just put your hand up while I'm speaking now and the host guys will hand one out to you. It's really important you have this, it gives you all the information about Rise and Build. Pastor Matt has done an awesome job getting it ready for us. Now on the last page of your brochure, if you don't have it that's fine, have a look when you get home, it talks about tax deductibility and what that means. So the fact that Rise and Build is tax deductible, it means that when we give money, we can claim that money back from the government as a tax deductibility. We can do this because part of the auditorium's use is going to be for our school, for Victory Christian College. And as the school is a tax deductible organisation, the money we give towards that can be tax deductible for us. So let's just say you earn $60,000. Now, you're all like me saying, I wish, but it's just an example. So let's say you earn $60,000 a year and you decided over the one year, or say each year of the three years of Rise and Build, to give $3,000 a year. So you would give your $3,000, you may give it in one lump stump sum, say when you got your tax deduction, or you may decide to do it weekly in a pledge amount and say you gave $3,000 for the year. So on a $60,000 income at normal pay-as-you-go tax rates, you would actually get back in your tax return an extra $988, which would mean you gave $3,000 to rise and build, but it only cost you $2,012. So that's a major advantage for you. You may decide, well, man, I've saved a thousand. I'll give the church, give Rise and Build an extra 500 and we could share the saving. You could do something like that. So that's what tax deductibility for Rise and Build means. So have a look at your brochure, see what it means to you, see how it can actually be a saving for what you give towards our great building project. As I said, I'm away on holidays. As you sit here now, I'm just getting on a plane with my wife and we're flying away to visit her sister in the United States. It's the holiday we've been planning for 20 years and never had. So I'm over there enjoying myself. You're having a great morning here at HMC. So praise the Lord and worship that bit harder for us. And I'll be back to talk to you next week with stage four of my little Rise and Build talks. Thank you. History Makers Church would like to thank you for your generosity. Your giving is making a difference. Here at HMC we hold a dynamic prayer meeting every Wednesday at 7 o'clock at the HMC Auditorium. Everybody is welcome to come along. On a Sunday morning if you have a prayer request then please come down to the front of the church at the conclusion of the service and one of our key leaders will pray with you. History Makers Church Ballarat kicks off on the 3rd of October. Now the plan is we will leave for Ballarat straight up church on Sunday at 12pm. Get on the school bus, drive over to Ballarat, have lunch, then we're going to set up run church, pack up, and hopefully be back in Bendigo by about 6.30 p.m. at night. Now, if you're not involved in anything in Bendigo at the moment, that's not a problem, that's not an issue. But what we need is everyone to play a part. So you could become involved in greeting on the door, helping set up, drive the bus, or even being part of the crowd. So we need everyone to jump on board and help us out with Ballarat. We're putting together a roster. So if you'd like to get involved, go to the back of the auditorium after church today and put your name down on the sign-up sheets we want to see you as part of the Ballarat crew. Hey you! Yes, you, you! Listen up! This week you have community groups! Yeah, that's right, community groups! Make sure you see a youth leader this week and get a blow! Yeah! Church, this is your last chance to place a bid on the watercolour painting that Terry Jarvis painted while Pastor Rich preached on the storm. Valued at $2,000, the money raised from this painting goes towards the HM Port Villa Conference in December. This will be closing at 12 o'clock today, so make sure you head to the back of the auditorium and place your bid after the service. This is your last chance to sign up your acts for our Yo-Yo and Saturday Night fundraiser. All money going towards our HM.
Cam House of Hope in Collapore. It's next Saturday night, 18th of September at 7pm at the HMC Auditorium. The cost is only $10 per person plus BYO Nibley's and drinks. We need lots of acts. They can be serious or funny, but we need you. So make sure today after the service you go to the back of the auditorium where you can sign up your acts. We hope to see you there. On Friday the 1st of October, we're holding one remarkable night for History Makers Conference. We are running one afternoon session commencing at 2.30pm with the History Makers Band and one of our very own homegrown speakers. At 7pm, HM10 kicks off with one remarkable night. Our guest speaker is Pastor Scott Hansey from Gateway City Church in Wollongong. We're stripping everything back to keep the focus on you and God. We've stripped away the rego, the merchandise and all the other stuff for one remarkable night with God. It's free entry, so spread the word and get everyone along. For more info, visit www.historymakerschurch.com. That's been another great edition of Church News. If you've missed any information, go on our website, which is www.historymakerschurch.com. See you next week.